The majority of residents of Lindam Konto informal settlement say they were relocated from N3 and Madoding informal settlements in April. They say they were told that it was part of government's COVID-19 strategy to ensure social distancing. But the new settlement has sparked mixed reactions. I am happy here because we have our own stands. Our problem is only water and electricity. It's much better here because there we were on top of one another. But here we have our own sides. Now then they are moving people from their shake, own shakes. They are taking them back to another shake. What's the difference? Our councillor up there, he promised us that we will get two room. But when we, we arrived here, we didn't get that. We get only one room and we are surprised of that. Labour Federation Kosatu says the shakes are unsuitable. The shakes are so small that even a bed can hardly fit in those minutes in those shacks and our people are expected to live in. Our people also do not have access to water. We do not believe that that is a proper human settlement process. The Free State Department of Human Settlements says the shacks were built to prevent the spread of COVID-19. The department says they were built at a cost of 22,000 rand per household, including relocation costs and toilets. It says there are plans to build houses for the community. I'm Balesamwe, DSABC News, Harry Smith.